Hey there, I'm Dassey from PartnersInCrimeGFX.com, and in this video, you'll be viewing another one of my Blender 2D cartoon templates. The first thing I'm going to do is show you the template, then show you how to download it for free, and then I'll show you how to edit and render it, and then use it with your YouTube videos, all in free software. I feel paralyzed. So the first thing you're going to do is, if you don't already have Blender, you'll have to download it from the link in the description. It's totally free. And then to get the template, you just click the link to my website in the description. Choose the template you want, and then press the subscribe to download button, and like this video. And once it's subscribed, just wait a bit for the download button to reveal. And once it shows, you can just click download, and it will take you to our Patreon page, where you can scroll down and click the free orange download link. And once you've got it downloaded, you're just going to open up the file, and then we'll show you guys how to edit and render any of our intros, and how to use them for your YouTube videos. So once you've chosen the template you want, you're going to want to right click on the text object, and you're going to want to press tab, and erase that text, and then you're going to want to type your own custom text. So you just type whatever you want to type there, then you press tab again to confirm it. Now we're going to repeat the process for the rest of our text objects. We're going to right click on our text object, we're going to press tab, then we're going to erase it and type our own custom text. Then we're going to press tab to confirm. And we're going to repeat this again for our last text object. We're going to right click on our text, we're going to press tab, we're going to erase it, and we're going to type our own custom text. Then we're going to press tab to confirm. And it looks like there's one more text object. So whichever template you choose, you're going to want to make sure that you click all the text objects and change the text. So we're just going to right click on that. We're going to press tab and erase that and then type our own custom text. Then we're going to press tab to confirm. Now what we're going to do is we're going to show you guys how to render this out. So you're going to want to press that folder icon and choose any folder on your computer. We're just going to choose our desktop, and you're going to name this anything you'd like to name it, or you can just keep the name of it. And then you're going to want to press accept. Then you're just going to want to press render, and then render animation, and then your intro will render to whatever folder you've set the output to. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is right click on your desktop, and make a new folder called Blender YouTube Files. And now we're just going to double click on that folder and we're just going to drag it down over here and we're going to open up the folder where we have our videos and so we're just going to go to our documents and you're going to drag whatever intro you want to overlay here and whatever video you want to overlay the intro on and then once you've downloaded and installed HitFilm from the link in the description you're going to want to open it up And you're going to want to press File, New. And you're going to want to change the project settings to 24 frames per second, 1080p. And we're just going to start editing. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our Blender YouTube Files folder. And we're going to drag our media. So we're going to drag our intro. And we're going to drag the video we want to overlay it on. And we're just going to drag this to right about here, and we're going to press yes. And we're just going to drag this video right here. And now we're just going to make sure the intro is overlaying on the video. And what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in a bit. And we're going to use our middle mouse button to drag through here. And we're going to make sure we have our intro selected, and we're going to go to the effects. And we're going to type key. And we're going to put hue RGB key on it. And we're going to change the hue to RGB. And we're going to make this green. And we're going to press OK. Now we're just going to drag on our timeline and see how that looks. And as you can see, it needs a little bit more adjustment. So we're just going to change the tolerance. Something a little bit higher until we can't see those green edges. Perfect. And so as you can see, we have our intro overlaying over our gameplay video. So 
So this will work with all of our 2D inchos, and it will also work with our outros. So let's get an outro to demonstrate. And we're just going to drag the Crimson King outro, and we're going to delete the intro. And we're just going to put the outro here. And we're going to give it a hue RGB key. And we're going to change the color to green. Now, if we have an intro or outro with a red green screen, you're going to want to make the color red. But for this tutorial, we're only using green ones, so we're just going to make this green. And I'm going to press OK. And we're going to go and see how that looks. And it looks like the tolerance actually needs to be decreased just a little bit. And as you can see, we have our overlay. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to save your video once you're done with it. And you're going to want to save it under a different name, of course. And once you're done saving it, you're going to want to export it. So you're going to go to the export settings. I'm going to press that icon there. And we're going to press go to export. And you're going to want to press start exporting. So once it's done exporting, you're going to want to right click on it and press reveal output. And it'll show you where the video exported to. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment for more Blender tutorials and Blender templates from partners in coordinated rendering of ideas, motion, and effects.